let us start uh, <clears throat> talking about rights as uh, as you know there is a uh, interview going on for uh, this particular public sector rights the full form of which is rail india technical and economic service so this is a small document which will be provided to you uh, and uh, i believe that many questions in the interview can be asked from this particular document and this document is prepared extensively by going through a couple of the you know, websites you know uh, rights website and then wikipedia other website investopedia and uh, because it is associated with the railway ministry so that website is also referred what is rights uh, you know that there are categories at the end of the document the public sector categorization is given what is maharatna what is mini ratna navratna so it is mini ratna category 1 uh, public sector so it can be asked in the interview what is rights what do you know about this mini ratna how the status of mini ratna etc is given you need to know that i know it is for the 47 years it is uh, working in different domains the two things which you should know about rights is that it is highly diversified company the work profile in which it is it is a consultancy company basically uh, transport consultancy and engineering sector so what is rights sir it is uh, mini ratna company public sector and it is transport consultancy and uh, engineering sector uh, that is how it is defined diversified services that is true and it has a geographical uh, reach is also uh, huge ge geographical reach it is uh, you know taken the project it has taken project in 55 more than 55 countries so highly diversified geographically and highly diversified in terms of its profile then you know there are certain things which you should know it is subsidiary of indian railway and it is related to infrastructure and transport infrastructure that is what they call it founded in 1974 had office in gurgaon and uh, many countries and who is the uh, cmd of this company and that is uh, mr v g suresh kumar consultancy company it is uh, you know like engineers india limited rights is also consultancy company so certain things you should be aware about the start uh, at the starting of this now uh, abbreviation do you know what is the full form of rights that is what it can be asked and uh, what is the main domain of uh, work of rights sir so it is a consultancy company and uh, it was started as a company special specialized in transport infrastructure uh, domain so made by indian railways in 1974 and later on it diversified into planning and consultancy services for infrastructure airport highways urban planning so civil engineers should see this carefully uh, the domains in which it is working uh, status of mini ratna was conferred in 2002 and now it has 62 plus countries mein it has presence uh, it got listed in stock exchanges of uh, both stock exchanges uh, that is Bombay Stock Exchange and National Stock Exchange (NSC BSC) में 2018. Okay, it it was created under Companies Act in 1956 as public limited company, and you know uh, it is ISO uh, 9001-2015 company, which deals with the quality of the service, multidisciplinary consultancy company, and deals with, deals in transport infrastructure and related other domains. We will see that. and uh, i advise you to visit the uh, website of rights for uh, more information because there is extensive information on the website of rights so depending upon which branch of engineering you are from you should focus on that particular domain now what are the different uh, sectors in which it is on this slide you should uh, properly you should see that what are the different uh, sectors in which it is working Uh, when you go to sectors on website you will find these sectors if you are from electrical engineering go through electrical engineering in detail if you are civil engineer is a student you should go for construction project and management you know uh, if you are from architect so i think this time the seats are advertised for mechanical civil and electrical so accordingly you should see it so what are the various uh, sectors in which it is working <clears throat> and he might ask you and uh, related to that only questions will be asked like quality assurance is the sector in which it works so you can expect some question related to that domain 
now uh, i have taken from those profiles only the most important profiles i have provided you here in the document uh, so as far as the first profile is concerned that is airport profile they are telling that what rights is doing in airport profile uh, airport sector designing planning construction and uh, construction management of airport heli ports and land ports so design planning and construction management so the details are given how it is done and uh, you know it works with other organizations also like air force bharat electronics limited ministry of external affairs so it uh, does work with that sometime is mentioning about the projects as i told you it is in more than 55 uh, countries so bangladesh railways myanmar railways sri lanka railways what consultancy it is providing there are different clients of uh, rights and these are some of the names of the clients you should remember if you are from odisha then you know he can ask you uh, can you name some of the clients of uh, rights if you are from punjab he might ask you rail coach factory kapoorthala so those kind of things you should know uh, ntpc is also its client so rights keeps on giving consultancy to various uh, organization now <clears throat> you need to read these profiles in detail and uh, that is important for uh, interview perspective uh services from concept to commissioning are provided in uh, you know different domains like uh, rail road rail cum road bridges um, on major rivers gorges rail over bridges so all these concept to commissioning services is provided by concept means planning commissioning means execution so what are the major activities taken by done by this assessment of the project need uh, sitting of location including remote sensing study land use topography survey hydraulic design hydraulic model studies so if you are civil engineer all these terms are important for you because they are going to ask you and many of you must be must have done their projects in related domains and uh, they must be doing their mtech also so suppose you are doing mtech in geomatics geoinformatics so you know they you are going to link your mtech with something like this and because it is consultancy organization your specialization in particular domain will be very useful for this job and your entire interview can be pulled in particular direction if you link this particular thing with your mtech so <clears throat> this is a project management service for institution building universities college infrastructure project so i i know many of uh, civil engineers they they Uh, have done their very small projects uh, during their college in related to these areas sir when i was doing my btech my project was uh, related to some construction management uh, or building in particular residential area so uh, rights is also working in the same domain something like that now project management consultancy it gives you know so what is planning what is detailed engineering uh, what is quality survey what is estimation contract management so uh, i have done some work i have some knowledge related to this sir and there's a reason uh, i think if i join rights i can work in these kind of areas again for electrical engineers these are the business profile so as i told you go through this document in detail and maybe you will find something uh, they can ask you related to that yes mechanical engineers uh, air conditioning domains entire air conditioning domains if you are from thermal and you have done your btech project on air conditioning so they might ask you questions related to that uh these are different domains de- depend dependent upon depending upon different sectors and what services they provide now see this you see this uh environmental engineer and scientist environmental engineers and scientist what services they are providing this is entirely for civil engineers you know if you have done your masters in geotech or environment Uh, so these are the domains for you solid waste management sir i was seeing that rights is also into the domain of solid waste management so just take this document and read line by line and just underline the domains which are of interest to you and maybe in the interview itself we can tell about that and we can pull the interview in particular direction environment impact assessment uh, is something which is done by these rights <clears throat> okay now this uh, uh export of rolling stock which is produced in india to other railway systems you know that is one one of the sectors in which it is working and what are the services provided is these are the services provided <clears throat> so facility planning for rolling stock maintenance training in railway technology for uh, mechanical engineers these are important 
optimize financial and accounting processes improve efficiency and productivity and it environment so all these things are related to financial sectors also so this is related to financial management so if you somewhere you are related to financial management you are linked to that this is what you can answer this is what you can see asset management you know uh, recently government of india has come out with the asset monetization which also have added at the end so privatization of the psus and asset monetization of the psus so uh, maybe somewhere it is linked to that and question can be asked <clears throat> geo technological investigation pre feasibility and dpr study so pre feasibility report and detail project report these are the part of your project management domains so urban transport and you know oil exploration studies oil and gas pipelines so there are so many sectors in which rights is working and you should know that you will i am very sure you will find something related to you and once you go through this document and you uh, understand okay this is the area in which i want to pull the interview further you can interact with the mentors of your pd and then they can guide you in which direction you have to proceed yeah so let me skim through all these things now all these uh, which i have mentioned here for your reference uh, and you please go through don't avoid it go through in detail of this so supply chain management logistic and supply chain management service is a very very important you know rights provides procurement logistics and supply chain management service to its clients so this is something which is a very important activity of rights nowadays <clears throat> so this is the all uh, sectors in which it is working spectrum of services as i said supply chain analysis assessment procurement planning strategic uh, sourcing so all these things are being done uh, you know this by rights nowadays so same thing different sectors and uh, how uh, quality assurance yes if you are somewhere related to quality what quality assurance uh, domain the team is uh, the rights is not a very big organization it is a mini ratna only and uh, not uh, people are not i mean employees uh, strength is not that high but still whatever employee strength is there diversification is huge the kind of work they are doing the diversification is very high in rights so rail transport consultancy you know uh, design of uh, this handling bulk solid and liquid handling rolling stock these things are related to mechanical engineering domain so wagon design so if you have done your training in railways you can always link this particular thing quality assurance services so you can always link it with that railway project planning uh, railways is uh, you know uh, making huge projects nowadays big projects mega projects railways going on and rights is really helpful in that so topographic surveys satellite images so all these terms are related to your domain of civil engineering now then what why rights was in current news nowadays so so recently in august itself rights received highest ever order from railways uh, so what is rights and uh, where is the head office of that they have mentioned and what order they might ask you what kind of order recently rights has got if you are from particular area you know they are mentioning about these uh, three new projects belgaum dharwad waikitur so if you are from that particular area uh your address is related to this they might ask you this and uh, then what was the revenue and profit you know this pat so what was the profit after tax profit after tax is 105 so it is in profit it is not in losses it is in profit making public sector so you have uh, international clients you have uh, uh, you know uh, national clients so that i've already discussed at the top who are the clients and uh, then i have mentioned uh, the in the document which you will get i have provided you what are the categories of uh, maharatna mini ratna and uh, uh, what are the uh, some current uh, things related to public sector like privatization and asset monetization please go through that also so as you know your pda provides the detailed consultancy for interview guidance and preparation so go through this document and once you are done with this go with uh, for hr with me because hr is going to be very very important in this and as you know the weightage of interview for rights is 25% so the scoring in this particular uh, interview will be very very crucial for your get finally getting selected into rights just go through this have this document this document will be provided to you along with this video so go through this and prepare well for this uh, exam thank you